we are going to use the power of variables to enhance our Scratch program. You can see I already have a program created with a whole bunch of steps. If I click on the green flag to run the program, you'll see what it does. First, the sprite moves five steps, then turns 90 degrees. Then it moves 10 steps, 90 degrees again, 15 steps, and so on. Notice the number of steps goes up by five each time. So the sprite character moves five steps, turns 90 degrees, moves a bit more than the previous value, turns 90 degrees, moves even more than the previous value, and so on. What we are going to use is use a variable to make this program more efficient, because currently it's not very efficient. So under control, we're also going to make use of a repeat block. We're going to repeat it 50 times just for fun. And under motion, we're going to need to move still, and we're also going to need to move 90 or turn 90 degrees. Now it's time to introduce the variable. Under data, go to make a variable. We're going to call it move amount. Notice the variable name is all one word. It's nice in coding because we use meaningful names for our variables rather than generic letters like X and Y as we tend to in math. Now it's time to give our variable an initial value. So the set block, we're going to put that at the top and we're going to set it equal to five because the first time we want the sprite to move only five steps. We're going to grab the change block and put it inside of the repeat. And every time we go through the loop, we want it to increase by five. So we're going to change the move amount by five. Now it's time to put the pen down so that it starts to draw. And because there's something on our screen from our last program, we need to program it to clear the screen. So we're going to clear the screen and under motion, we also need to make sure scratch starts pointing in the right direction. So you can see point in right direction is bound under motion. And we also would like scratch to make sure it begins from the middle of the screen, which would be about zero, zero. And finally, we need to take this when green flag is clicked. I'm going to take it from our old program and move it to our newly improved program. And I just noticed I missed something here. Right now, Scratch is always moving 10 steps. We want it to move by the move amount variable. So under data, you'll take the move amount variable and throw it into the move block. Let's run it now and see what happens. And there we go. A challenge for you would be to try and make a triangle spiral rather than a square spiral or a pentagon spiral. You can also try adjusting the color every time it turns 90 degrees so you'll get kind of a rainbow effect. 